Thanks for logging into MyFoxHurricane.com. I'm meteorologist Dave Osterberg. And of course, looking back at history and the tropical activity in general, the percent of named storms per month. I mean, look, not a lot happens typically in June and July, plus November as well. Really, the majority of the storms for August, September, and October. So obviously not much is going on, which we're completely fine with. We have had Alex. Alex is long gone right now, so still a lot of names left on the list. Wouldn't it be great, though, if we just stopped there? I know we're not going to. You know that as well. The water temperatures are plenty hot. There's no doubt about that, especially right along the coast. These water temperatures have been in the mid to upper 80s. These loop currents are warm, so that's not the limiting factor in something developing. What is the limiting factor, to be honest with you, is this. This is Saharan dust. That is that dust that comes off the coast of Africa working its way thousands of miles to the west and that will really impede a lot of these storms in their development which is completely fine and over the next at least five to seven days that plus high pressure which is sitting in the Gulf will probably keep things quiet given the fact that when we get storms to develop in June they're typically in the Gulf or in the Western Caribbean but this is the map I think you like development not expected at least over the next five days again still a little bit too early for those storms coming off the coast of africa and between the saharan dust and high pressure in the gulf things look to stay relatively quiet thanks for logging on have yourself a fantastic weekend